Walking around here at King Pride, it's evident that culture is so important. I mean, you, you see guys having fun here. I've just arrived at King Price, who are market disruptors in the insurance industry. And I'm here to interview Gideon Galloway, who started King Price. Let's go take a look. Gideon, Hello, thanks, for, thanks for joining us and thanks for joining CEO Wise. Great, thank you. Great to be here. <laughs> awesome. Now, you started uh, uh, King Price uh, with a, a different model where the premiums decrease monthly as opposed to increase. Did you have that idea from the very beginning when you had the idea to start uh, an insurance company? So the logic is that if the risk is less, then why would your premium um, keep on increasing? Yeah. Plus your vehicle depreciates in value. So, so that intrigued me so much. So, so um, when I finally started building King Price, that had to be in the model, obviously. Yes, it, yes. It, 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 um, it went hand in hand. It was okay. definitely the driver that wanted me to start an insurance company okay, awesome. on that model. Yeah. Excellent. And you started with uh, 20, 20 million rand of your own money, but now that's, I can imagine, a fraction of the cost, what it, what it costs to, to, to start an insurance company. So where did you get the, the rest of the capital from? Um, well, at that, so, so cost around a billion rand to start yep. an insurance company. So I, I, I definitely knew <laughs> it, it, I wouldn't wait it with the 20. Um, my first pitch was for 300 million. Um, we eventually, with our reinsurance, work on a model of around 200 million. I, I probably knew it's going to cost a little bit more. Um, uh, ended up um, with double that amount, but it was still a lot more cost effective than yes. other other yes. guys that launched but i knew if i could build the it system uh, build the brand and and um while pitching um that uh, finally i would find investors i didn't think it would take four years yes i i, I initially thought this is uh, nine months to a year then this is done so it took a lot longer um uh, lots of lessons learned in between um, so, but I mean, I think the part of the passion of pursuing something is to put your own money to it. Um, I, I, I was in a fortunate position to have other businesses that could support the cash flow. Okay. Um, and, and that's where I, I just drained that 20 out of my other businesses yeah. to, to, to okay. get it going until I finally found um, um, the partners that were willing to invest. Okay. And you, you approached uh, over 40 different investors to where, with your idea now that takes a lot of perseverance what what drove you or how did you persevere for so long after 40 doors were shut saying no <laughs> um yeah you get used used to rejection what do you get <laughs> no, um, yeah. so uh, it was uh, it was 43 i think 43. Uh, they, I, I counted all the uh, wow. all the pictures at, uh, one day in my calendar just for fun um the, but, so, but the, i think the time was is the long part to, for four years to to pursue something and putting money to it when you don't buy a house or anything or or, yeah. or and yeah. it's actually draining your other businesses um do you do get to a point where you have to ask yourself aren't i crazy or something yes, so yes. but um i think every pitch you learn something new um and if you if you really believe in it and you stick to it yeah. then then um and you know the plan is solid um then um, you know every every pitch is, is one step closer yeah. and and those pitches just by the way is, is isn't uh, just a meeting i mean you go in and then yeah. they're interested they sign a, um, a non-disclosure yes. all of those and then a dd starts and then the due diligence can take anything from a week to three months wow so it's a quite a process but uh, as mentioned you learn uh, throughout every pitch yes. um, mm. and you believe that when you become successful you should actually give back now um I believe that you give 60% of your profit, uh, you put it into a trust to help improving South Africa. Can you tell me a bit about that? 70% of that is put in Mergon, which is a, a trust aimed at non-profit organizations, churches, all of that, all to the upliftment of South Africa. On my own personal capacity, when, um, when I started business and, and, and started my own things, I just 
felt that I would yeah. want to give back. So, so I always had this little off of, off of what I yes. uh, earn, I would wow. give back. Um, so there were days where times where it was really good and, and it's easy to give half um, yeah. and, and times where it also went very difficult, yes, so especially yes. when you close down 14 companies course, and, and, and um, still haven't launched King Price. So, um, so, so I think in the beginning I, I just asked, uh, you know, when you're writing your um, book and I, I ask God for partners that believe in a similar mindset to yeah. changing South Africa and, and um, they have a world impact and I found them. We find partners yeah. that, that think the same way about giving back. Well, I think everything happens for a reason. If you, if those forty doors, forty-three doors, were supposed to close to meet your partner that no, suits your values, <laughs> then, no, then it's evident. But I must be honest. I would have taken anything at, uh, <laughs> <laughs> at one point. You do get tired. <laughs> of course, I can imagine. Didn't I believe you also have a quitting bonus for new recruits? How does that work? Uh, well, it's uh, yeah. It's, if you don't fit into the culture, you can um, you can choose to leave within the first month. Yeah. So in that in the training, normally most of the training takes takes a month. Um, so if any way you feel you don't fit into this culture, you you'll get your first month salary plus a twenty thousand rand bonus. Wow. Um, yeah. So um, only one I've taken it so oh, far really? in, yeah, in, in the last two years since we introduced it. So it's definitely, and, and uh, the philosophy is just um, um, why waste their time and yours to, to, for somebody that don't want to be there. Um, so I think it's a good thing and I think more companies should, should, should try that. What plan did you put in place? Did you have a, a or goals? Did you have a 5, 10, 15, 20 year goal or, or plan that you had? So, well, I have a 20 year vision, but yeah, I, I don't think that plan will, okay. uh, I mean, Things change so fast mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, but uh, we def we had a seven seven year plan um, on a spreadsheet. So I think that um, is important with the type of investment we require to, to at least have a seven year view of it, and um, and then ten year twenty year it gets fluffy. That's more of you know how are you seeking price in the yes, future, and, yes. and so we definitely from the beginning said we want to be in a global company. And that's where it gets 10 years on, but yeah. there's no business plan for that. Um, but, but for a South African business, we had a five, seven year um, the plan on spreadsheets. Um, and for smaller businesses like with Think Tank, so it was far less. I mean, it was my own company. That was, that was a year or three years. And, yeah. and, and yeah. Um, looking beyond that is, is, is a bit difficult. So you advertise a lot across many mediums. You've got billboards, you hand out flyers, you've got online advertising. Which one is currently working for you the best? The world is moving digitally. Um, it's it's over fifty percent of our our leads are sourced uh, through digital platforms. Um, then, but that in itself becomes more competitive. So yes. so, so if it was two thousand and five, I would tell you Absolutely. definitely digital. Yeah. But um, now everybody's competing in that space. So exactly. it's, it's, a, it's an area that every company, I think, should be in. It's also dependent on your business. Um, um, for, for us to be countrywide, you need to be on TV and billboards. It's that credibility factor. Yes. Um, if it's a smaller type of business, um, I, I think online is the way to go. Yeah. It's, um, it's measurable. It's uh, um, it's uh, more cost effective, yes. I, would, well, I so would say. Social media advertising a lot more cost effective exactly. now, because, but Google AdWords is a lot more expensive than it did, than it cost, yeah. say, 10 years ago. But yeah, that's, I, I do believe in the whole mix of, of advertising. Um, yeah. Thank you. And measuring it. Yes, that's very important. <laughs>